Okay, it's time for Rick Pink LP Classic Relog, and this should be fun one. We have A A E V Bean 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 Brit by Natasha Levenger. So in the couple go, we got big creature called Bean Bean, which I don't think I got all of it, but they got very big, big, big gosh apparently. <laughs> gosh, I can, I think. And they got super speak and they they fly and they have their home again in another dimension, or something. I think they have to go for a portal and. Well, uh, and Pet Guy has to create a wind so we can go on the current to the portal thing. It's hard to explain, but they talk him. Um, <laughs> you know, and Fluttershy so uh, has to help lead the people. But, good thing, but they too are screwed up by Spike. <laughs> um, they are taking off course in Fluttershy uh, and they end up getting scattered. Fluttershy uh, has to take care of, you know, the bleeding. Why we get all healed, but even after they get all killed, they still want to stay there. And we bring we may bring the net like that. Well, first, I want to just cuddle them, even though they need to get out there going get home before their portal could go. There, the episode goes. The cup code is called Brangley Divine Not quite the extent of an episode like, hey, daring, don't worry, like, or even no time of those people. People just kind of forget control because more control problems can come out. and. The cup cup? I don't get it. I, I don't. I understand that not everyone really will like it, but I don't see what the big controversy or problem leading. The problem thing to have is do the nitpicky logic bullshit that doesn't matter. You know, some of the stuff that brings them make a time camp. Who cares? Small the story, well written, I don't think it matters. And, and we know just so much we know that they need to get out of the fear because they're in danger. And that kind of all is really important, you know. Um, and I, you know, and yet I do think it's good up because they have had one part I really like, and most of it is good. So I do like this one, and I don't get why people, some people hate it. I understand logic and all these things, but you know, um, one thing near the end I kind of see it dumb, but at the same time, it's not episode breaking, and it's mostly a good episode. That's what that should be Yeah, the Bleeding can argue be a bit more because they, you know, I mean, but I'm kind of like the Bleeding, but it's like, it's still common, like, logic, and how it can be a little too late. At point, they even, like, pretend to be kicked in order to, you know, not have to leave. But at the same time, I can see why. You know, for one, uh, Pal of Mine did a whole video about Brigby. And how be kind of with people to an extent, and I'll link to that in the description because it's pretty interesting. It's short, but yeah, so it's interesting. Um, <laughs> um, oh yeah, let's see. Naughty of the North, there is a movie. Okay, I don't like it. But anyway, um, what was I? Yeah, so I kind of see why they are the way they are, but you know, couldn't get quite better. Not a big problem though, and if that's the way they go for you, then you're you're dumb because there's more to it than that. They kind of have to be a certain way. And I see why they don't really look at the Um. Anyway, and yeah, them becoming in the end kind of dumb. I mean, I understand, I understand toys and whatnot, but it's like, you know, the whole vegan they have to. It kind of, I guess, and kind of doesn't. You know, but it, when it happens, you're like, what? I find it happens to like have a public and do that like on the fly. Like, I don't know. I do like a joke about how we got now to come Griffin after all that. And like, you know, and they're cute too. And thank you for them to give a dimension, I suppose. Change dimension. I don't get how it's from a dimension. It can show up a freaking previously mentioned a freaking crowd before being brought up here, or not too often. They're from G3, though. Uh, I don't know what they're like there, but I'm gonna assume it's not. <laughs> So, yeah, um, but, um, I took a problem with one guy mentioned, right, but the only big one, but I think I do quite like one, uh, one, 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 for one, I really, I think, in general, it's quite kind of an interesting to play, I guess one problem is that not, it's not too comedy focused, because not a lot of jokes, but a few amusing moments, but, like, a couple here and there, but, it's been actually having more with mid twins a bit more engaging, but I do like it, I do. Um, and yeah, it is, and stuff that we can get in like, the B part. Let's try you and not get the wag land. Wag man, wag man. Um, <laughs> probably won't be any less to do for a try. Um, uh, oh 
okay, okay. But anyway, the story I'm gonna get so interesting to keep playing out because I really, really like the moral here and how they track it because the only way to bring people will be because bring we're about trying to make the economy only doing whatever they want and bring and bring up the freeload and because of that they are the the even they're not gonna really understand why they need free blah blah. He bring it doing the opposite. He being he he see he brought by a dude um feeling Brian Drummond um <laughs> because a lot of he gets that for a couple times um. You make them yell at them, hey, get your, get your your plot off the ground and do stuff, blah, blah, blah. And they don't listen to them because you're so aggressive. And it's all up to them about finding that middle ground and how, you know, you should go to, in order to, you have to be cool or be kind. You know, you have to, sometimes you have to, you know, be, give poke someone a little bit or else they're not going to listen to you. Being like, all the time you can't, you know, yell at them all the time or else they're just going to roll white noise, you know. Being too aggressive, you know. Me. I can know from here, but being too great of the other just gonna get free of white noise, you know. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> like a very, very good message. I like the way they presented it with having both guys, you know. They could have even made it so, oh, okay, oh, being a lot of time work. No, no, no. They beat that little round and maybe we should, well, and you do, I like it. You free five from because everyone is just being so idiotic and he wants to make. Oh, man, he's making a lot of fucking, you know, he's, you know, I buy out that way, that could trade him. <laughs> so, yeah, I buy, you know, buy, he'd be dead, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, we got to flush out, I got to tell too, because she got to, I don't know, because, you know, she kept dying. And she learned a first luck in a pretty cold way. And I do really like flush out here, because occasionally flush out can get repetitive. Like, she does not know, like, a moral big issue with her or anything of that nature. We might get to that more if we do for living, like, um, <laughs> um, what can I say, um, you know, but occasionally, it, like, you know, you go back to game well for a while again, it's just competitive writing, but they are roughly on the point to get it right, because we really kind of tried the game around, but it got good, did something different, and did make it clean and put down kind of thing a lot better. And made for a pretty engaging story because the moral is interesting and relatable and very, very true. One of the better morals I've seen from the show, actually, because it's one. Not neck and one I like two times, a little bit. Um, so, and for the point, I'll put it out better. She was very good to keep for no part. You go far, she's gonna be okay too. <laughs> Flutter Brother. <laughs> By the way, apparently, which I know, I'll probably bring it up at the end. Um, so, at far as Betty Lane, the channel quite the. the Discord, basically Discord. We'll try to go in that one. Well, what did she do? Oh, she also, did she do Game After though? That went back to that well. It don't work out okay, but it don't went to that well. Then you go, pick up a pie. That pie and this was the only thing for. Can't remember if I go for one. But, um, uh, pick up. Uh, I quite like her. Pretty good. She yeah, acted really good. Pretty nice good. So, overall, I would say it's a pretty good one. I mean, yes, the ending a little dumb, and yeah, maybe pretty good, we might pretty good one. Maybe could find a few more elements, maybe. But, as a whole, we are told just enough I'd be to know what's going on, then flesh out, I need to, you know, man up, and, you know. And it got, and it's a good moral about how you should be aggressive, but not too aggressive. It got a nice middle ground, and it developed flesh out a lot further and better than before. And come cake again, the green guard kind of cute. So, it's a fairly engaging story, not in the main episode, but a pretty cool one with a very strong method, powerful one, I okay. Not my favorite episode ever, but, you know, far from the worst. I, yeah, I generally don't get the hate people. I understand that some people might not like all of it, but the contrary to happen to it, I don't get it. Like, all the dumb, butthole bullshit, who cares? Who cares? My god. I think any of the people can't even come back and they lift a bunch of shit no one cares about. But go, they could very dang call it good. Not great, more engaging, but it is a good one. I think that really, I do feel like we get kids more makeup for any possible flaw. Go up, because where we're, we're confident for strong, but okay, I don't care if this is weird or back off. And it's one of those go, but not too many weird off things, but strong odds more, we're gonna get it up high, we're fine, kind of boring. So, yeah, it is a pretty call it good, and then I go ahead to care about that. It's all a comment, tell me why I'm wrong. But I think I played why I personally like it, even though I get, I get a comment, which I find that interesting, like they find it kind of boring, or 
they just go, they just can't relate to it. The difference between that and going, wow, we'll think of it for this weekend. Go, oh, and you should, then that video go, as a little link, we'll go more detail in the beginning and why behavior kind of makes sense when you think about it. Fuck all I have for this one. Um, so, um, one thing comment on, apparently, the hiatus, you know, and July 30th or August something. It's been flip flopping between, we last week, July 30th, August, but anyway, um, and, and I, apparently, we know the name and plot that, but I'm not sure. True or not, I'm going to have to wait until a week before. Um, I'll tell you what my plan off for the kind of vlog stuff when we get to that point. So, we'll see how that goes, and I'll give more detail when we get closer to that date. Anyway, that vlog was all the on board. In the meantime, Go, let's pick that one. Oh, yeah, all right, you can be bringing great title and a pretty good up go to that, you know, both sort of thing ever. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I don't have the episode list up. Um, what? I had to bring up the computer because I forgot to do it. A uh, number it came up with Kevin and Kevin, so it be what? Go oh, that did. That would be. Pinky Pride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time. <laughs>